Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Coop's house from the show Kid vs Cat. If you guys do enjoy this tutorial, please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that little bell next to the subscription button. That ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. But without any further ado, Let's get started. So just before we start building everybody, here are all of the materials that you will need to make Coop's house. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. The amount of space required to make the house is a 31 by 32 block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground, which you are of course more than welcome to make if you do feel as though it may help you out. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to, make sure that you got that stuff, make sure you got enough room to make it, make sure you're ready and once you are, we can begin. Step one, my house building friends, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of your grid, if you've made it. Count to the right of this corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then inwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That way, we're both starting in the same place if we've both made the grid. On top of this block, I want you to place a stone brick. On top of that, I want you to place five white concrete. One, two, three, four, five. I want you to extend the stone brick to the right, also using stone bricks, by four. One, two, three, four. We have to place a double door. I'm going to be using jungle doors. You might find that you want to replace the two blocks underneath where the two doors are going to be. On the opposite side of the double door, we want to place four more stone bricks. One, two, three, four. On top of the fourth brick, we want to place seven white concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place three light blue stained glass block on top. One, two, and three. Okay, so the front of the house has several windows. Left of the door, you want to place white concrete, and right of the doors, you want to place white concrete. On the left, you want to place two vertical light blue glass blocks on top of each other, or paint. And on the right side, you want to do the same, one, two. However, on the right side, additionally, you want to place two white concrete on top, and then two more light blue glass blocks. And underneath the uh, the actual glass block as well, the lower glass, you want to place a spruce wood slab, and that's just a little window sill. On the left side of the build, I want you to come to the top of the row of white concrete, which is, well, this. I want you to place a dark oak wood slab extending outwards to the left of the white concrete, and I want you to place a dark oak wood slab extending forwards. Place dark oak wood slabs extending inwards and upwards. We want to create a diagonal roof. This is a slanted roof. It starts from the bottom left hand corner of the house, or sort of bottom left hand corner of the house, and it ends up in the top right hand corner of the house. The roof will eventually stop, stop when it uh, overhangs the right side of the build by one row, like this. That's all you've got to do, so hopefully that was quite easy to do. And in doing that, what you can then do is you can extend these glass blocks here that we have at the top of the build, these three glass blocks, you can extend them inwards until they connect into the roof. So when you can no longer place any more glass blocks without them kind of like sitting behind a whole block, so like here you wouldn't place one there or there or there, uh, once you have something which is kind of like it's just covered up from the outside, what you can then do is, once you've extended the glass, is you can extend the white concrete as well. And that'll actually give us the entire shape that we need for uh, the lower part of our house. I've only included detail on the front of the house and sides of the house where I was actually able to find it. So the back is actually a little bit of a mystery, but for the most part, we just want to have something that should look like this. And the sides of the build, we want to start extending backwards now. We're going to extend the sides of the build backwards by 13 rows. So, like, we'll start with the stone bricks at the bottom of the build here, and we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we can extend this block across, and we can join it all the way to the front. 
But here's the thing, we not only want to extend these stone bricks, we also want to extend all of the white concrete, and we'll also want to extend all of the glass as well. The glass is at the top of the build, just in case you forgot. And we'll also want to make the roof, because we've kind of got a really good template for the roof. We've done it on the front, we can easily add the same thing to the back. So if you start on the right side, kind of like me, and you extend up all the white concrete, followed by all of the light blue glass, then we can also do the same thing on the opposite side here, which is uh, just going to be white concrete. It'll actually be a lot shorter um, than the other side. Um, I think it's like five rows in comparison to like, I don't know, like 10 or something like that. So it should be quite easy. Um, once you've extended both sides back, you actually want to kind of copy what you have on that side. Um, if it makes it easier for you, you can actually extend the roof backwards first, and then you can make the edge of the roof, and we can extend the edge of the roof up and around and all of that, we can join it all together, and then that'll, that'll actually give you the parameters for the roof, you'll actually be able to see um, where the roof all joins together. So we want to have something which should look like that and uh, we've got the same thing now on the back and what I meant was of course all you have to do now is um, basically if you extend the glass inwards like this that's perfect, extend the glass inwards like that and if you extend the white concretes inwards as well uh, and extend them uh, you just want them to basically just slot in amongst the roof um, equally so, if you don't want to do it like this, you can just copy what you have on the front of the build, like you can uh, look from the back towards the front, we can't do that now, but you could have like looked forward and like uh, rode it all up as we were going. Um, we also have to do the roof, the actual middle part of the roof, that's easy to do though, because um, half of it is dark oak wood planks, half of it is dark oak wood slabs, you can use slabs for the entire thing, you can't use planks for the entire thing, but if you do use slabs for the entire thing, then uh, I think you'll get a less complete roof it might look a little bit weird on the inside so I find it best to simply add the rows of planks in there and then add the slabs afterwards that's just how I would build things you don't have to build it in any particular way if you don't want the slabs are actually driving me crazy at the moment you can see all of those like additional slabs that I've accidentally placed that is the only problem with slabs they they kind of like find a way to replicate uh, <laughs> so, we just want to have something which should, in the end, look exactly like that. Now, I completely forgot to fill in above the doors here, but that is just white concrete too. Uh, but that's the, like, main, if, if you want to say main part of the house complete. Let's move on to the not-so-main part of the house. It's, it's dead easy to do. So, I want you to grab your stone bricks and I want you to come down to the bottom front right-hand corner of your house. I want you to take this corner and extend backwards by two. One, two. Place a row of eight stone bricks extending outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extend this eighth block backwards. We want to extend backwards by one, two, three, four, five. Place two bricks, one, two, and then two more stone bricks, one, two, and then we want to extend inwards like this, and we will join to the side of the house. So we're essentially making what, what you could call like a little extension, really, is kind of what we're doing. So when it comes to this extension, this extension has a window. I want you to place two yellow terracotta on the left front of the build and two yellow terracotta on the right front of the build. I want you to place glass block in between them and extend the glass block upwards. I want you to, on the right side of the build here, place an additional yellow terracotta and then two, one, two, light blue glass extending backwards with an additional layer on top, like that. What we are then going to do is we are going to place yellow terracotta everywhere else. We're going to bump up the uh, we're going to bump up the height of this a little bit. So we're just going to have two rows of yellow terracotta extended around. We should so far have something that should look exactly like that. So now that we have that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to work on the roof for this thing. The roof is easy, but it starts in a peculiar way. We want to have a dark oak wood slab hanging off of the top front right hand corner of this portion of the house. So it's kind of like up and above outwards diagonally like that, just half a row. And we want to take this overhanging row and we want to extend it inwards and upwards. 
inwards and upwards. Eventually, it will connect to the middle part of the house. So, it will end up looking a little something like that, which is fantastic. In addition to that, we want to take these brick blocks that we placed earlier, not the stone bricks, but the regular, extend them outwards, and extend them upwards. They want to be about as high as where the white concrete is on the, uh, on the inside there. And we're just going to extend the bricks upwards like this, and then we will have a nice little foundation for this particular part of the house. It'd be a lot easier if we finished the roof, so we are going to extend the roof towards the back of the house here, and we are going to do the outline for the roof. In doing the outline for the roof, that will show us what space we are able to work with um, to actually like fill in the little house. So now that we've done the outline, we can use the yellow terracotta, and we can completely fill in the middle part of the roof here, and here, like that, and then we're going to extend the planks front to back, just like this, here, and here, here, and here, and of course we want to place the slabs in between the planks, just mm, my bad. It's kind of tricky from this angle, but if we need to, ah, oh, there we go, nailed it. Um, if we had to, we could have just like, we could have done it from a different angle. But uh, we want to place all of these slabs, and this will give us a nice solid roof. And then we just, we just have to add some little details here and there. So that's what we've got so far. That's looking really good. The next thing that we want to do is we need to make a windowsill, so that is made out of spruce wood slabs. We need to elongate the chimney, so we're going to use cobblestone wall and smooth stone slabs. We need some spruce trap doors. We need dark oak wood slabs. We need dark oak fence. We need uh, grey concrete. We need birch saplings and bone meal. And many more! So once we have all of this, we are first of all going to make the window seal for this window. Um, spruce wood slabs directly underneath the glass will do. Um, spruce trap doors um, flipped upwards so that they are flat facing the left and right sides of the window will actually look great like this. That's fantastic. And then the chimney here, we are going to use cobblestone walls on top of the bricks like this with smooth stone slabs like so on top of the cobblestone wall like that. That's looking good. And what else do we have to do around here? Well, now that we've done that little particular part of the house, we have to make a carport, which is basically it's just like a little sort of um, hung up structure that allows you to not get wet and park your car underneath it. Kind of like a gazebo, really. So we're going to grab the dark oak wood slabs, and we want to be pretty much, the best way to describe it is just directly above this window on the left here, you want to move left of this window, one, two, and then place a dark oak wood slab. Extend it left, and then continue extending left by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then all of these rows can get extended backwards, like this. And then we can extend these rows. Uh, we can extend just one row from the back of the, like, across the back of the build. And then we want it to join pretty much where it does on the front like this. And this is going to be the carport. So we can fill the entire part of this in using some dark oak wood slabs like this. We are going to join the corners of this, um, only the outer corners, we don't have to, I think we rarely have any other corners that we can even reach anyway. And the outer corners we want to join down to the ground using some dark oak fence, and that will give us this, which uh, looks pretty decent, honestly. So, the reason that we have the grey concrete is to make a bit of a path. The path is going to be as wide as the space underneath this carport. So I'm actually going to dig out a space underneath this carport. It's going to be four rows wide. Four rows wide because that's how usually how often I actually make um, roads in my cities and stuff. So I'm going to have four rows of dark uh, grey concrete just underneath this carport. And those four rows are actually going to extend all the way to the boundary of the house. So. Um, I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea of where uh, this is going to be. I'm not going to fill this in um, until later. Um, the entrance here, we want to have a width of four stone slabs, kind of like in front of the entrance here, in front of these two doors. 
and then we want to extend the uh, these gr these stone slabs here. We want to extend them forwards using grey concrete, and we want to do about four rows: one, two, three, four, like this. So we'll start with an outline just because it's easier, like that. And then we kind of want to create kind of like a, a a sort of like curvy path. So the way to do that is I'm going to take the not this corner block here this one inwards and I'm going to place one two diagonals like this using grey concrete and I'm going to extend the second one to the left like this so I know that this looks weird so far but you know hang in there and we are going to take this block here I'm going to dig that out going to make that grey and we're going to take the block on the opposite side here dig that out make that grey and what we can do is we can just dig out all of this and we can just make it a path. Now, we might even make the path a little bit chunkier at the end, but this is the sort of shape that you want to end up with. Actually, that looks pretty decent, honestly. Um, I don't know whether to perhaps even elongate that a little bit more, but uh, that actually looks all right. That actually looks like a curvy path. If you can imagine that this would be also filled in with gray concrete as well. You know what? I'll fill it in with gray concrete. Why not? It's only two rows. So I fill this in with gray concrete and then that will actually be a driveway, which is great. You know, we can get the car on and off the drive. And we also have a path that leads us to from the carport to the house, which is kind of like the point, I guess. So there we go. That's not looking too bad. I want to create some hedges and some stuff like that, so we're going to need the white concrete, green terracotta, later on we'll need lime terracotta, we need the black concrete, the buttons, and we just need the birch saplings and the bone meal now. Oh, and also end rods, that's kind of important. Okay, so we want to have a fence. The fence is going to go pretty much entire. We, we've got two parts to this, okay? So we've got a white concrete fence that is going to extend from the left, front left corner of the border to the back right hand corner of the border. It's going to be an L shape. It's going to be two rows high. So we want to do this, like I said, front left corner to back right corner. We will then want to, hang on, my bad. I'm so bad at this. Uh, we want to take all of the white concretes and then we want to have a border using green terracotta that is two rows high as well, but this just covers the right side. It's like some sort of hedge or something. I'm not 100% sure exactly what it is, but it's some sort of hedge or greenery or something. In the front right hand corner of the garden space here, we have a birch tree. So we start off with birch sapling, we grow it. And there is also a tire swing. The tire swing is dead easy to make. Hang an end rod off one of the leaves, place black concrete underneath it, and place buttons front and back. There you have a very simple tire swing. On the left side of the build, there are bushes. The bushes are going to begin one row inwards uh, against the fence, and it's going to be a row of one, two, three, four. Take the two middle blocks, extend them up, and extend them out. Easy as that. Simple bush, cartoony looking bush. You leave a gap of two and do the same. One, two, three, uh, and then four and then you take the middles and extend them out. And that is it. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually kind of completed the entire house. The only thing that you may want to do, because it contrasts itself rather nicely against, um, well, pretty much everything, um, you may want to uh, delete all of the grass and turn it into lime terracotta. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean up the area. I'm going to add some light blue concrete behind the glass blocks for the house because it will look a little bit better. I'll add the lime terracotta. It will look better. You guys will be able to appreciate it a bit more. And once I've done that, we'll be back to review the house because we've actually finished the tutorial portion on this build. Very well done, everybody. So this is what the house will look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. The lime terracotta really does help to kind of just like bring out the rest of the house as it contrasts very well against Minecraft grass and I opted to just add a couple of rows of stone uh, smooth stone um, out the front of the house as well just as a bit of a pavement and that's it that's all there is I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and do remember to click that little bell next to the subscription button if you do want to keep up to date with all of the videos that I'm putting out on this channel all the cartoon builds new and old uh, if you do want to check out any, any of my <laughs> other cartoon related builds check out the card system description button in the top of the comment section that's pretty much it. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed making this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!